my bike has been making funny noises for about the last six months. Time to really investigate. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator L. So, look, I'm with the heroic Harley here. I noticed for the last sort of six months, seven months, there's been an increasing little rattle uh, going on um, at a specific RPM range between one and a half thousand and sort of two thousand, two and a half thousand RPM. Initially, I thought it was something on the outside, like one of the heat shields or one of the uh, oil cooler grill, which I made that might be rattling. But I've sort of looked all over the bike and it isn't. It seems to be emanating from the top of the bike here, or top of the engine, I should say, from the heads. I have my suspicions what it is. But anyway, I'm going to go and get this checked out at the uh, dealership and see if they can come up with some kind of solution. But it could be something serious, or it could be something really simple. Now, it could be the uh, rockers, it could be the lifters. I don't think it's the lifters, I think it's more it's the, 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 um, the rockers at the top. It could be something more sinister with the heads itself. Um, I've heard reports of, sort of piston rings and things like that. Mine isn't burning any oil or anything like that, so I don't think it's anything like that. Uh, it could be an oil pump issue as well. So there's lots of, sort of variables what it could be and I think really as the bike is still under warranty I'm going to let them uh, check it out. But anyway, let's see if I can get this on film so that you guys can actually hear it as well. Right, let's get a little bit closer. Right there, there's a light little pinging sound. There. You may not be able to pick it up on the on the video, but it's right there. Okay, now, so the odd thing is that sometimes it's really pronounced and other times it's really subtle like it is today. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it for a little ride and see if I can replicate it again on the ride and see if I can capture it on video for you as well. But if you've got an idea what you think this might be, let us know in the comments below. I've got a feeling this might need some further investigation. Let's just see if it's an oil pump issue, if it's a rocker issue at the top, any kind of head issue, uh, or it could be just nothing. Um, I say sometimes it's really pronounced other times it isn't sometimes when the engine gets warm it goes away sometimes it returns again and it's always in that kind of one and a half thousand rpm to two and a half thousand rpm that's kind of where it happens right let's get on the bike right let's just see if we can replicate this shall we Ah, beautiful start here in the UK Lovely clear skies, beautiful sunrises and sunsets in the next couple of days as well uh, It's all due to this uh, This sandstorm that's uh, coming overhead uh, from the Sahara or somewhere. So uh, Anyway, you, that'll give you an idea when this uh, video was filmed. Anyway, right Let's get on to this sound which is a kind of a rattle sound, but it's also a bit of a hollow sound as well. Let's see if I can I can hear it right now. There. It's very slight today. Sometimes it's really pronounced, and other times it's kind of, you know, hardly noticeable. There. It just comes in around about 2,000 RPM. Very, very odd. I'm not sure if this is going to pick it up on the video, that's the only problem, but I can hear it. It comes in around about 2000 RPM today, let's see if I can get a bit of a straight here. Yeah, right there, 2200 RPM. 
if anybody knows what it is it's kind of a it's a, a slight rattle but it's a bit of a tinny sound a bit of a a bit of a hollow sound very odd very odd and do you know what the the worst thing about this is is that i just can't figure out exactly what it is it's kind of been going on for months and months now i know some of you might be thinking oh well, this is uh, because you did that vented dipstick and the external breathers well it isn't actually because this has been going on before then as well so and sometimes it's uh, more pronounced than at other times it's not consistent it's not on a daily basis yeah other times it comes in and stays there other times it just goes straight away Right, hold on. That's weird. As I'm just sort of stationary here, I'm not hearing it at all. But then, as I was riding along, I was hearing it. It's a very faint rattle, but it's a very hollow, tinny sound. Right, let's get back on it. Yeah, just there. Very odd. Let's say it's so frustrating because it's kind of in and out sometimes i hear it sometimes i don't sometimes you know it's quite loud other times it's really quiet and then it disappears altogether yeah i can definitely hear it you're probably not picking it up on the uh, uh on the video it is a very slight sound and i am actively listening out for it i'm kind of like this you know really you know ear to the handlebars type thing but it's definitely there so I'm going to go and get this checked out at the dealership, see if they got any thoughts. They're probably going to say, no, it's uh, perfectly normal, there's nothing to worry about. And then, uh, yeah, I might have to get into a struggle with them over that. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, we'll see what they say. Uh, it's got to go in for it's this uh, clutch lever. Um, it's a kind of anti-rattle spring, which I think uh, needs to be replaced. But I'm going to give them a call and see what's what. But it's so frustrating when you know you, you find something on your bike and it just won't go away it's a little niggle it's just like that little squeak in your car when you're driving along and it just won't go away it's exactly the same you know i've got this little a little noise little rattle on the bike and i'm wondering what the hell it is you know and nothing i do seems to make any big impact on it it kind of comes and goes as it pleases it's very weird very weird indeed but there we go i suppose that you know that's where we're at so the heroic harley is being a bit oh what's the word i'm looking for a bit of a little git that's that's the word i'm looking for uh, it's testing my patience uh, right now it's trying to tell me its secrets uh, but it's uh, not really giving me much to go on I think it could be something like an oil pump. It could. Be, it, I don't think it's the lifters. I, I don't think it's uh, the uh, the push rods. I don't think it's an oil level issue because the oil level is fine and oil pressure is fine as well. I don't think it's that. Bike's not burning any oil. There's no smoke coming out of it. It, it revs perfectly great. No issues like that. Um, there hasn't been a difference since I put the vented dipstick in and the external breathers or my homemade external breather on as well because um, this has been happening before I just don't know what's causing it could it be the rockers at the top could it be the valves could it be something in the valves uh, you know they're just making some sound I just don't know why I just don't know why they would all of a sudden the last sort of six months be making that I mean the bike's got what just over 10,000 miles on it Hmm, don't know. I don't know. But fortunately, uh, the dealership is just about to start opening again. Uh, here, I've got one nearby that's still in business, thankfully. Um, I don't think it's time critical right now, but I think it's just something I want investigated. Uh, you know, I haven't got any error codes or anything like that, so there's nothing that I can tell by my side. I kind of want to have this side by side with another bike to uh, to compare and contrast i mean i also want to let the techs have a look at it uh and hear it because they're going to be much more used to hearing the m8 
engines in contrast with other M8 engines as well. Uh, whereas on your own bike, you're not. You're only ever here in your own bike, aren't you? <sighs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Right then, back I go then. Uh, best I give them a call. So let us know in the comments what you think this could be. Uh, if it's something to be concerned about or not. I don't think it's of immediate concern, but something I definitely want to get checked out. Some days I say it's, it really is quite noisy. Other days it's really quiet. Sometimes it comes in at certain RPMs, other times it doesn't. Once the bike heats up, you know, I don't really feel it so much. Maybe because it's been really cold recently, I've been hearing it a lot more when I've been riding. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's something to do with it. Maybe the type of oil that I've got in there, there's HG360 in there right now. Maybe, yep, yeah, maybe that could be something to do with it as well. We'll see, we'll see, see what they say. But anyway, I thought I'd bring this to you because you know what? It's been bugging me what it could be. And I thought you might want to check your own bike and see if you're hearing anything as well. Maybe go and get it checked out as well. And you know, if you have had this issue, and it was fixed well what was the fix right catch you again uh, whenever that is i need to get on the blower and give the dealership a call oh yeah like share subscribe you know the score turn up